In closing, Your Honor, I want you to imagine an elderly woman, a mother whose only enjoyment in life is watching her TV. Picture <laughs> right now. Sitting in front of the microwave, holding a remote, pretending she's watching the Food Channel. <laughs> you see her? Now imagine she's white. <laughs> I rest my case. You played the race card over a TV? <laughs> Mr. Hightower, do you have anything else to say? Yeah. <laughs> now I remember where I know you from. <laughs> you and your girlfriend was auditioning to be backup singers on the Kings of Funk tour. <laughs> and right after the audition, you... Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Isn't this case supposed to be about my TV? Yes, it is supposed to be about your TV, and... I apologize for bringing my personal life into this courtroom. Well, actually, Maxine, it's probably me that ought to be doing the apologizing. I was, I was real young back then, you know. <laughs> Woo, I was full of myself. And so I'm just like to say I'm really, really sorry. Don't apologize to me. Apologize to our son. <laughs> Just wanted to mess with your head. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Okay. okay, okay, okay. We're even now, okay? And I'm tired of this case. You're not really gonna make me rule on this, are you? Oh, no. No, that's okay. Thanks. Hey, listen. Levita, why don't I just give you your money back? Okay, I'll take it. But it's not the same as winning. And let me tell you something, Your Honor. You ain't no Judge Judy. <laughs> Bailiff! No, no. Wait, wait, come on, LaVita. Uh, Your Honor, you have to excuse her. This is her first time coming to court without waving goodbye to some shackle family member. <laughs> it was good seeing you again, Maxine. I call you. <laughs> See the Christmas card? <laughs> 